Bentornati, and welcome back for episode 3 of our Satisfactory Update 6 series. In the last episode, we unlocked the assemblers and we built one, the first, the one that you see right there that it is right now making what? Let me check again. I think, I think that that one is making um, reinforced plates, yes. Uh, and it's being fed directly from our existing lines. That one is making rotors, I want to say, while this one is making uh, modular frames or something like that. Apart from that, we also built the MAM. Let me, let me get down here. Yes. Oh, I need to toggle sprint. Yes, we built the MAM and we started researching, we researched a little bit of alien organisms, we found mycelia in a cave and we killed a bunch of the stingers and we crafted our first parachutes. In between episodes, apart from those other uh, two extra assemblers, what I did was getting around in a map and exploring a bunch and as you can see, I've added a few markers because now that we have the map, I want to take you around the map a little bit and check a few things. And those things that it's really useful to, uh, let's say, unlock as quickly as possible uh, are um, a few different m materials that we haven't encountered yet and power slugs. So, without further ado, let's go check this sort of things. Is there any way for me to put these things on the radar? I know that if I create a new map marker that I can't put there on the radar. So let's see, if I do this and I say select icon and I want this, yes, the slug thing, select. I can select color, let's say, and I think I know that that's a, that's a blue slug. Uh, marker size on map, marker view distance on compass infinite. Apply. So, is this on the compass? Yes, it is. Look at that. New marker. Let's go check that out. Alright, here we are at the site of our map marker. More or less, this is a blue slug. Let's collect this. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, something else that you need to know is that the first power slug you collect is going to be used in the research, so it would be actually nice for us to collect more. If I get in the map, can I remove these? Um, remove marker, yes, and also this one, remove stamp. Now, let's try and get some of these ore chunks. So, this way, there should be one, and there it is. Look at this, this is raw quartz. Let's get it. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Nice, so again we unlock another material and another research tree in the MAM and we should be on top of yet another resource that I found while exploring and this is coal. Of course massively useful for energy production. Ada, do you have anything to say about the coal I just collected? I guess I collected this coal, but yeah, it's not unlocked like this, because coal is actually a basic resource, I think. That said, let's go back to the hub, because I want to get a few items. Oh, look at this. Right while uh, going back, I found another one of the materials that uh, we could find. It's sulfur, so let's collect this. Data shows this as a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. 
A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Nice. Let me go back up to, to the MAM. Okay, so let's research a few of these things. Let's start with Powers Lux. Three seconds to complete this. Ada has nothing to say about this, but we can continue this by simply uh, use some basic resources, and at that point, blue slugs become uh, scannable. So I think we should do this. Fantastic. So, scanner. Um, click. Yeah. So now I can look for power slug like this. And I don't need my map markers anymore. Okay, so that's that's pretty useful. And I think that is indicating a power slug that is on top of this thing, if I remember correctly. Yep, we will look for it in a second. Um, something else to research in a MAM. Quartz. Of quartz. New resource added to the resource scanner. Okay, cool. So, this one we can scan right away to find uh, entire nodes. And we will need a bunch more to open up more uh, research in here. And look, this is very important. The Blade Runners. So, we need to find a bunch of uh, quartz and unlock these. These are so useful for traversing the map. And then Sulfur. Okay, sulfur will, together with um, coal, unlock black powder and exploding stuff called the nobelisks. Okay, uh, next, as you can see, I have another marker there called crash site. Before I get there, I want to grab a little bit more of that fuel, solid fuel. I want to put quartz, coal, and other stuff. Stuff, various stuff in here. Um, do I have the materials on me to craft one of these on the fly? Yes, I do, and that's important because one of the crash sites needs power to be opened, while the other one that I found while exploring needs a few modular. Um, modular? Modular what? How are they called? Modular frames, and we have some. Good. Let's uh, let's check on this guy. This guy has 90 reinforced iron plates in here. Um, I think he consumed. No, he didn't really consume anything. All oh, right, he consumed all the screws that were in here, and that's why he's not producing anymore. But I think I can grab a few screws maybe from here. Yeah, let's grab this stack. Feed this in here so this guy can continue making reinforced plates. Let's check on this guy. Rotors are coming in. And again, this is getting... What? What are you doing? Oh, screws from here. Sure, I mean... This is all temporary. I will balance out stuff as we go along. So let's head for that crash site now. Here we are. So when I first found this, there were a bunch of hogs. I think three or four around here. So when you find a crash site like this, there's usually a bunch of items, even high-end uh, materials scattered around. So let's try and uh, find and collect those. Oh, look, more modular frames. That's good. Heat sinks. That's pretty, pretty high-end stuff right there. A bird. 
We cannot collect the bird, unfortunately. Okay, I think this is it for random materials, but then the main course is the drop pod. This one needs 30 megawatts to open, so that's why I wanted to see if I was able to build a biomass burner on the fly. So let's chuck this bad boy down. We can connect it. Put a little bit of biofueling there. And now we can open the door. Inside we get a hard drive. Hard drives are massively useful. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Exactly. Uh, as Ada said, we can get alternate recipes from there and some of those recipes are very very OP, like for example the ability to craft screws in one uh, single action directly from, um, from ingots. That would be so awesome. I think I saw something here. Can I jump up? Yes. Oh look, another power slug and a bunch of hogs. Okay. Let's see if we can pull one of them. Yeah, come this way. Ouch, ouch. Oh, 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 oh. Not good, not good. Could you, could you die please? I'm not giving my best. You probably noticed. Come on. Okay, one down. Where are the others? They sometimes glitch and they like fall off edges and stuff like that. I think that's probably what happened. Some of them might might have just fall fallen. Okay. Okay, that was better. That's what better execution right there. And here's our blue power slug. Nice. Okay, with that done, I think we want to head towards another crash site. So this one is done. We visited this one. So remove this slug we got. So remove the stamp. We can head towards this. And here is our blue power slug. There it is. And it looks like we have another one right here on this ledge. So let's go that way. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's do this. We will build a ramp right to there. Hmm? Let's not get too close to that plant. Oh no, oh no, there's a plant. This guy will, will poison us. Go away. Okay. That was actually less dangerous than I thought. Let's remove the ramp. Let's remove a few markers. So this one doesn't really matter. Remove. Should be one around here, but we are actually close to these other minerals. So let's go check those. And in here we have more raw quartz. And even more in here. 
And I can remove this stamp now. And then there should be a blue slug somewhere along this. Uh, how do I call this? Crevice? Oh, look, even, even more quartz. It's full of quartz around here. Yeah, I'm I'm looking around these parts, so there's a there's a few quartz nodes around here, and maybe even quartz to be found in uh, actual mineable node form. Let's see. Uh, well, no, no, actually, not not that close. I don't think I want to go down there. Let's go looking for this. Uh, not berries. Power slug. Oh, here? Oh, there must be one maybe below the ground? Yeah, probably. There's probably one underground. I don't know if I can get there, though. Is that a hog? Oh, this is a hog. <laughs> Come on. Again. And he's dead. Let's try and jump down here. Ouch. So... No, not berries. Power slugs. Oh, wait, it's up there. Ha. <laughs> okay. Let's try and go get it. Okay. Nothing a ramp or two cannot solve. Zoop down to me. Um, okay. And pick up. Nice. So I guess the way to get to this one was by... Yeah, by walking on this thing. Stop telling me about berries. Remove this bridge. Nice. Look at that. Another power slug. Let's build to it. For easy collection. to just I mean you can't re you can't remove these um nope it wasn't enough ah quick heal <laughs> I could have opened the par a parachute by the way should have just pressed jump again I guess I forgot that that is a possibility uh, okay, now to climb back uh, up. Well, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well. Hey, what are you? You're a spitter. Hi. Ouch. Stop that. Stop. Stop that. Okay. Good. 
So, if the spitter was here, it must mean that there is something good. Something like more sulfur, actually. So, not that good, but still. Alright, now. Let's climb out of here. Um, maybe one more. Cool. Any monster nearby? Doesn't look like. Okay, so this is ours. Nice. Good, and I can already see another one. Perfect. What is this here? Oh, it's just limestone. Okay, I'm now running here on the map, and this is the first Caterium boulder I find. New technologies can be developed based on this new superconductive gold-like element, primarily in power and electronics. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Perfect, and I should have Ah, uh, no, I don't have, don't have miners, manual miners with me, but maybe I can craft one. Let me see. So, if I craft an equipment workshop real quick, and I get in here, can I make portable miners? It looks like I can. So, if I make, like, one... right? This could help me in case we find a Caterium node. Oh, I can't really scan for a Caterium node yet. However, I remember finding one, so just in case I get there again, it should be maybe this or this. So let's go and check. Okay, so in this area we have a slug, it's barely visible there. These kind of stones would be removable using nobelisks. Let me check if... Oh, I can actually get it from here. So no explosives needed right in here. So let's remove this and let's go check if there's more stuff around here. Spread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Oh gosh! Well, we 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 better collect this Mercer sphere. Ah, I already feel better. That is limestone. Okay. All right. Let's remove this and proceed. I remember this. This is the fabled flying slug. Hi, flying slug. You're mine. You're mine.
Okay, here we are. This is the site that I found where there's a Caterium node. Now, we would not be able to place a miner on top of this because there's this boulder and this needs to be removed with explosives. However, I can use this. And this can collect a little bit of Caterium while we go around and explore just a little bit more. Okay. Be right back, buddy. Oh, and would you look at that. So we are right here on the map. And there's another Caterium node. And this one doesn't have a boulder on top. So I guess we could have put a miner right here. Aha! Yellow slug. Now, this would normally be um, defended by three or four uh, hogs. But I took care of them in between episodes, so that there's none right now. Anyway, this is our first yellow power slug. There it is. And is this something? Oh, this is more quartz. It seems like there's another blue slug right on top of that. Let's see if we can prepare a little bit of a platform. No, not like that. Soup this way. Um, good. Nice. Collect this quickly before the gas cloud hits us. Okay. Now... We can clear our tracks. Cool, so what remains? This is done. Collected. There's a cave in here, although I don't feel like going there. I don't I don't really have a pressing need for mycelia or more stinger meat. There's something here. There is a, however another crash site right here, and that I wanna check out. Okay, and here we are. Uh, also in here, the hogs have been vanquished in between episodes while I was exploring. Let's take a look. Just a few basic items in there. There's a few screws, but reinforced iron plates also. Oh, I can't pick them up. Because I'm, f I'm full. I'm just full of everything. I will have to think of something to drop in a second. Uh, well, probably these leaves. Yes. Throw the leaves away and also one wood. Okay. Um, yeah, there's very basic items around here. Okay, let's take a look at the main course. These one need one module frame. And we have those, so just open up. Nice. So now I need to make room for this. Or can I just... Oh, they stack. Amazing. They do indeed stack. You know what? I should have kept the markers there. You know? I should have kept the markers and maybe uh, switched them around for a different one. So why don't we prepare a new marker to put in here? I need so the the one thing that I don't like about these uh, these markers is that you need to move away in order to be able to click on them. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Okay, new marker, put in here. Let's select an icon, and that is a thumbs up. Yes, select. Uh, let's give it a... I don't know. Green. There you go. And size on map is regular. And 
No, I don't need it visible from afar. I just need to know that there was something there and I got it. That's good. All right, now. Well, while I'm here, I might as well go check what this is. And this was... Ooh, it's good that I checked. This is bauxite. It was actually something new. Uh, I don't have enough space in my inventory again, though. Sort... Oh, I can put the berries in here. And now I have space. I think, though... Box site also is not opened up by the MAM in terms of scanning, but rather when it is time in the normal progression. So at this point, let's go back to this Caterium nodes. Let's collect our portable miner and then we are ready to go back to our base. Open the portable miner and we have uh, grab all. I mean, at this point I have a hundred. Do I want to maybe drop something just so that I can carry a little bit more Caterium? Look. Copper is really easy to get. So let's trash some of this. And I'll wait a second for this to be another full stack. And I'll carry it back with me. Alright, I'm full on Caterium. Let's go back. Alright, that took quite a while for me, but I hope that thanks to state-of-the-art video editing technology, it was uh, slightly, you know, shorter and enjoyable uh, for you. So, let's get back to the MAM and analyze a few of these things. So, a quartz was already analyzed. Power slugs, we can maybe do the yellow one, although I need to go back downstairs and get a few rotors so let's put to something else first maybe Caterium yes this we can start Caterium is a really interesting research line I need 50 more start research that's good I have that fantastic then he wants me to give 50 Caterium ingots so to make ingots we will need a smelter of some sort. There you go. Let's place just uh, one in here. Very easy. And we connect it. I don't know. Like so. So, Caterium. Got a little bit of Caterium there. And that's going to be useful for us as we go along. What else? Alien organisms. Oh, I think I have more stuff. Look, because we battled that uh, spitter. We have plasma spitter remains. Can we search that? Good. And there's also something I picked up while exploring. I found a few hatchers. And I have hatchers remains. So again, alien organisms. Research. So now we can make proteins out of all of these. So if I can make five of those capsules. Uh, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. I should have some more stuff in. No, in here. From here I need to pick. So alien proteins. Yes. And when I need to... It's not crafting in here, of course. I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. Okay, so I think they're crafted in here. Uh, the organic data capsules, they are made out of proteins. So let's craft some more, let's say, hog proteins. There you go. And then let's make, I think, five is what I need. This organic data capsule thingies. Let's go back in the map. Aliens. Do you like that? I think you do. Start research. Amazing. And that would lead us to unlock the rebar gun, which would be our first ranged weapon, which is amazing. Also, inflated pocket dimension. Look at that. If I can get my hands on a thousand 
uh, units of cable, which I think is pretty doable, I can have plus six inventory slots. Okay, let's go downstairs and grab a few rotors. All right, now that I'm back with rotors, I can start researching the rebar gun. By the way, did they like uh, set all the research timers to three seconds? I'm pretty sure in the past some of these research research items took way more than three seconds. Anyway, rebar gun, that is something. Uh, is my Caterium cooked? Uh, only 33? Oh, because this doesn't really smelt 1 to 1. It smells 3 to 1. So maybe, just maybe, we have exactly enough. I'll have to mount an expedition uh, with a few portable miners to get a bunch of Caterium back. Anyway, while that cooks get back in here because there is another thing that we can research let's see quartz crystals or oh yeah maybe we can get this way so let's research this we research silica now if we can get our hands on 50 silica we'll be able to make the Blade Runners. Uh, how do we make silica again? In here, probably. I can make 70 silica, so... We go back in here. Quartz. Blade Runners. Start research. Amazing! So, what does it get to build the Blade Runners? 20 more silica, don't tell me. I have just enough. Ho 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 ho, yes. And... Boom! The Blade Runners, these go in the legs slot. And now, look at this. Look how fast are we running? Look, <laughs> look at this jump. <laughs> oh yes, this is so good. Look at this. Woohoo! Amazing. It's getting here. Oh, 46 Caterium, are you kidding me? So I can't complete that Caterium research. Anyway, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I need to pay attention now. I could just fling myself away. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, the, 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 the yellow slug thing I can research. And this will give us the uh, power shards. Do you have nothing to say for yourself? Apparently, no. Okay, so power shards, right? Wow, I move so quickly now. Power shard. So the... Oh, I... Mm, yeah, so I guess that only unlocked the yellow power shard. But this, I can already make with the blue slugs. Okay, cool. Basically, these are used to um, overclock machines. You can plug a power shard into a machine. Let's see. Do we already have the... No, it would go inside here, but it's not... It's not unlocked yet. I guess it's a... It's a step with, that we need to unlock with n natural progression. So let's put some of these stuff... This stuff away for now. Yeah, the box site, slugs, the sulfur and stuff like that, and let's instead uh, take a look at the very interesting now stuff, the main stuff, the hard drives, okay? So, one hard drive goes in, and we can press on scan hard drive. Now, this takes 10 minutes, right? So, 
let's leave it in there and while that uh, is d decrypting let's get in here instead and let's start unlocking some of this for example logistics mark 2 this is really important because it gives us conveyor belt mark 2 and these transport up to 120 resources per minute so for this I would need a little bit more rods and plates and I think I have most of this stuff around here yes so logistics mark 2 select And go. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. Fantastic. So, on my hotbar, now I would like... Let's see, let's go to logistics. I'd like to move mergers and, and splitters towards the end on 9 and uh, 0. Um, maybe have the conveyor pole on 8 and the stackable on 7. While I'm going to have on 4 and 5 conveyor and conveyor lift. Wait a second, did I delete the conveyor lift? Yeah, this is 4. So, 5 will be conveyor belt mark 2, and conveyor lift mark 2 will be on 6. I mean, at some point we also have mark 3, etc. So, I might have to move stuff around again. However, this for now is great, because when we... Wow, I move so quickly with these things. Now, when we want, we can um, upgrade this side, because one of these miners can produce up to 120 ore per minute and now we can actually extract 120 ore per minute right but this i think will be in the scope of next episode uh, in between episodes i will remove all of this absolutely tear everything down and i will start by building my main uh smelter factory for iron okay because basically one of these miners uh, by clever usage of uh, Mark II belts and splitters can feed four, uh, four uh, smelters. And we have two nodes, so we can have eight smelters working simultaneously in here instead of these four. And then when that is all set up, uh, I can start to think of, let's say, a plate factory and a rod factory and a screws factory and stuff like that okay and then we move on building by building this way for now though there is maybe one last thing i want to do i need to pay attention because i'm moving too quickly last thing i want to do i want to unlock the awesome sink and the awesome shop i will need to wait for the drop ship to return though in the meantime I want to collect all the required materials. Let's wait for it to touch down. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Let's go. Resource, sink, bonus program, ready to launch. Go. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this awesome shop thing and the awesome sink, 
it basically means you burn some resources to get coupons in the coupon and with the coupons you get interesting stuff now it seems like it's just cosmetics but it isn't there's actually stuff in there that is really useful to organize your factory like for example um power poles that are actually just sockets that go on walls and can connect from inside to outside so from one side to the other side of one of your walls and there's like uh, walls with holes for belts that snap automatically and stuff like that they are just so uh, well so awesome really oh right hard drive yes one minute it's almost done while that finishes can I make a rebar gun I need only six reinforced iron plates you say well why why didn't you say so from the beginning okay now that I have the plates let's build our rebar gun yes amazing we need iron rebar We basically convert rods straight into ammunition. Okay, 33 for now. Let's equip. Nice. R to reload. Cool. So, this thing takes like one ammo at, at a time shoots only one at a time and it does a pretty good amount of damage i don't know what to test it on right in this second but i'm sure going forward this will come in useful to shoot at things oh look the little uh, rebar projectile is even sticking there for a second all right let's put it down is my thing finished here? Yes. So, let's see. What do you have for me? You have three separate recipes that I don't care too much about. So, there's caterium wire. So, one caterium ingot produces eight copper wire. That's not really that critical because copper is you it's 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 usually enough um, there is fine concrete which requires silica to make concrete uh, click to expand producing produced in the assembler and there's the alternate cheap silica so cheap silica basically uses a little bit of limestone to make silica. Well, I tried looking it up and I think we just got a bad selection in here. We could have gotten so much better, like something for the screws, for example. But anyway, I think after having looked at the numbers, I think I'm actually going to go with fine concrete because that like lowers the amount of limestone needed per concrete and it has a chance to also like speed up concrete production which might be useful uh, when we want to try and like go big with buildings so I'm gonna go with this it's probably not a very good idea overall but none of these seem seem spectacular to me I might I might be wrong let me know in the comment section if you uh, no better because you know I might st might still find one of these around so if you think one of these is really good just let me know and I'll confirm and I think I will start working on the other hard, hard drive now and we're gonna take a look at the selection for this one in the next episode all right so that was fun we got quite a bit done even though like the factory uh, still looks the same but we used some of the advanced materials we uh, went ahead and 
explored a huge section of the map, by the way. Um, we found several rare materials that can only be unlocked when you actually find them in the world, like Caterium and Sulfur and stuff like that. And we progressed a lot into the research on the map. We got our Rebar Gun, and most important of all, we have the Blade Runners. So now we go so much faster, everything is gonna be so much easier. We, we go faster, we jump higher, and that's amazing. I need to remember and craft uh, a few more parachutes, because while jumping really far away is, is kind of fun, there's more of a chance that I will actually jump off a ledge by mistake. So yeah, I need to remember to do that in between episodes. Now, in the next one, I will uh, put on pause all the research stuff for a while. And what I want to do is uh, tear everything down, as I, say, as I was saying earlier. And I want to make a uh, well-consolidated uh, iron smelting factory. And out of that, we're gonna uh, recreate uh, a few of these uh, factory lines for plates, rods, screws, and even the advanced stuff. So stuff uh, is 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 gonna move further, you know, uh, uh, up into this uh, valley as we consolidate our buildings. But everything is gonna be much more efficient now that we can actually move up to 120 items per minute on our belts with the belts mark 2. All right, that's the plan. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!